There's another stock that's buzzing and that's uh, Kaplan. That's after it got an establishment inspection report from the US FDA from one of its facilities in Tamil Nadu. And the chairman of the company now joining us here on ET Now. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on ET Now. I would imagine that this EIR for the benefit of our viewers stands for establishment, established inspection report. And help us understand this is makes you one step closer to entering the United States market, which is seen as the largest uh, market for companies like yours. Ma'am, USFDA approval is probably the gold standard for any pharma company in India, especially for injectables where the number of factories are few and far between. Hence, we consider this as a major milestone for Kaplan Point. Further. The approval opens up opportunities for site transfers. We are also evaluating some options with few companies for CBE 30. And our main agenda is to file 9 to 10 ANDs for the current year. In fact, two have already been filed. We will file one more in the next month. The remaining 6 to 7 will be filed somewhere before the end of this year. Out of these 10 dossiers, Five to six will be of our own, four with our partners. And who is your partner? We have two partners currently. One is the Freshness, Freshness Carby. Other one is from UK by name Cycle Pharma. All right. Hi, Mr. Parthapan. This is Mubina as well, joining in from the Mumbai studios. So I just want to understand currently what is the contribution that you get from the U.S. Uh, from this uh, plan that has received the EIR? And also, what are the major products that are filed from this plan? No. The, what the EIR which we got is more of a <coughs> pre-approval inspection. This is not for the products. This is the first time we got the approval. Now that you are filing products actually for registration, and disclosing actually the products would not be a right option for me because it would lead to actually self-victimization. Hence, I would, I would not actually be in a position to disclose the products at this moment. So far, we have not entered USA market. This is the first step in the form of a facility approval. And the real marketing will start somewhere in 2018. We are very sure the revenue stream will definitely start in 2018. And that's what I would like to convey now. Okay, so this is the very first, in fact, uh, step taken towards the U.S. market. In 2018, of course, the U.S. market will open up for you in a big way. Uh, thanks for clarifying, uh, you know, that for us. Um, so if you could just give us a breakup of the revenues for the company in terms of geographically. You did mention, of course, that U.S. is a new market. So, uh, you know, apart from the U.S., where else are you getting your revenues and what's the contribution, roughly? Yeah, but again, as I told you earlier, most of our revenue, 90% of our revenue comes from uh, South America and I would not be able to quantify it because our board meeting is slated on tomorrow. So as I told before, this only 90% comes from South America, the rest of the 10% from West Africa. We're going to leave it at that, Mr. Pathapan. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations for getting that pre-approval for, for entering the United States market, seen as the biggest market uh, for drug makers. So uh, we'll get you back on the channel once you start getting approvals for the various nine products that you have plans for.